Hi, we're Jordan and Jim. One year ago, we left everything we owned and everyone we loved to move to Cornwall and fulfill our dreams. It's moving day! We bought a plot of land and for the last year have been living on site whilst building our house. Follow our journey as we develop this adventure together, one vlog at a time. Last week you saw us hit a wall. The rain was relentless and we really felt like we had missed our chance to get that roof on before the winter weather hits. Luckily for us, the October sun was on our side this week. It feels so good to complete the felt and battening ready for slating. This week our neighbours moved into their house build. As it stands we are about a year behind them in this process. It would be so easy to watch them move in and feel deflated, but instead we felt really excited. In just a year it will be our turn. We may never get to build a house from the ground up ever again. It is an amazing opportunity, and one we have worked so incredibly hard for. This week has been a great reminder to be thankful for every stage we reach. We got this far through sheer hard work and tackling every problem we face together. That will get us through the next 12 months too. And there are so many exciting steps to come. The next stages will determine our house's character. The windows, doors, paint colours, flooring, little wooden slate details, room layouts. We're already having discussions about how we will use and live in this space. This year, our plot is going to transform from a blockwork cube to our home. So last time on the video it was a bit rainy and we couldn't finish the felt and batten in. True. So quite a lot's happened since then. Yeah, so I've finished all the felt and battening and um, now I can start putting the tiles on. And I'm currently playing with lead work and the lead flashing around the uh, All my cheeks, which is fun. Does it feel good to be tiling? Yeah. Yeah. And what a beautiful day. I know, this is absolutely lovely. So the first bit's really fiddly because you've got like this part layer underneath here to cover these gaps. This gap is big because I've set by this point and this point and I'd have wasted basically that gap will get smaller on the next stroke and the next one will be a normal joint all the way up because it's only going up to this edge rather than an overhang does that make sense? Mm -hmm. um, I'm just sorting out this stuff and massive tiles aren't they? only this one it's so that you can you know, obviously 
have a stagger. So that one will go there. Okay. Do you know what I mean? And then it's that size across the whole roof. You only have one, one of these on the edge going up the verge to create that half tile. Oh. Overlap. Jim never ceases to amaze me. He has never built a whole house before and yet enters each stage as an opportunity to improve or learn a new skill. On this project he is the client, the manager, the bricklayer, the accountant, the carpenter, the roofer and will also soon be the electrician, the plumber, the interior decorator, the bathroom and kitchen fitter, the landscape gardener and more I am sure. Every skill he knows he learned from working alongside my dad. I love that. It brings my dad with us to Cornwall and within the walls of this house. I'm so grateful for that. It wouldn't feel properly like home if my dad wasn't part of it. He created every house I've ever lived in and now he's part of this one too, through Jim. Patination oil, it stops basically if you leave lead out without this on it, it um, gets, see these colourful stains, the blues and yeah. the, like the oily colours, it stops all of that. It stops it going, it stops ageing. And now see how, where I've yeah. wiped that, it's no longer blue and purple and oily. And it stays looking like grey lead. Otherwise you end up with this super colourful stain down your down your lead work. Cool. And then what I like to do is cut off the corner. Round it off. Yeah. This looks a bit prettier. I actually really like lead work, it's really satisfying.
Okay, so yes, the October sun was shining, but the washing was hung outside for two solid days and still wasn't completely dry. Just one of those caravan life things, I guess. And another one of those things we need to accept and find joy in. You never know, one day we might miss these slow living days.